Doctor, how important is the immune system when it, it comes to detoxification? Well, it's huge because the biggest hitch in detoxification is inflammation. And so when the body gets stuck, you, you have inflammation and detoxification going back and forth like this. And the, basically the way it's supposed to work is say an invader comes in, you have a bacterial infection, you're attacking it with oxidants, uh, peroxides and such to kill it. And so you turn down the detox system because the detox system is like this with the antioxidant system. It is an antioxidant system that is doing detoxification. So you have to turn mm -hmm. it down, attack the invader, and then after you're done, you flip back and you clean up the mess. And so if the immune system is in this dysregulated state where it always thinks it's under attack, you know, be it like allergy where you think the pollen's attacking you too, but now we're having allergies to all kinds of foods, to all mm -hmm. kinds of things that are going on. Uh, when the immune system is dysregulated, uh, it often turns down the detoxification system. Then, but there's a lot of other interplays. Uh, the toxicity itself will turn down the immune system. So then you start becoming sick all the time when you shouldn't be sick. But then, uh, you know, so some, there, there's a lot of interaction between things like Lyme disease and toxicity, mm. where it's hard to say chicken or the egg did the, did the mercury bring down the immune system and the Lyme got in there? Or did the Lyme get in there and turn down the detox system through this chronic uh, underlying uh, inflammation and then you became toxic? But uh, it, it's pretty well understood that w when you have a Lyme patient, they're also mercury toxic. And along the same lines with the immune system, we find most of that within our gut, correct? And then mercury can kind of have yeah. an effect on, and that's, on that. I, 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 you know, there's a lot of ways you can go with the answer, yeah. but, but the most obvious answer I should have given you is that if 60 to 80 percent of the immune system is in your gut, mm -hmm. and the two things that it's looking for are in, uh, a microbe it doesn't like and a poison, and it's associating them, and then it's causing an alarm. So it's looking for things, and you're, you've got the dental amalgam, and you're inhaling some of it, and that's what's getting into you systemically. But actually, a much larger amount of mercury is being corroded off of those amalgams, and you're swallowing it, and it's going through your gut. That mercury is not absorbed. So you might say, okay, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that form of mercury is it's highly irritating. So it's creating mm -hmm. inflammation states in the gut, and the transport system that's moving toxins out of the body is anchored down into the gut, and it's pulling the metals down into the gut to dump them through that way. But when you have all this mercury in there, you actually stop those transporters. So there you're locking the door to the mercury going out. So the amalgam one is going in, is being inhaled and going systemically. And then the other form is going through the gut and locking the door out. And it's not just locking the door for the mercury, it's locking all kinds of things in. And then it's also acting on all these dendritic cells that are part of the immune system. And, you know, it can go different ways. It can cause, uh, you know, chronic inflammatory states. It can cause overaction or uh, autoimmune states. Or it can just end up depressing the whole immune system. And it's not clear. Maybe that happens once the adrenal fatigue sets in. Uh, but you, you have this weird dysfunction in the immune system where it's either overactive or underactive or some combination of the two.